Okay, in this video, I want to talk about this slideshow ribbon and uh, what you can do from here. Uh, right now, I've got <clears throat> my uh, presentations all done, but uh, they, they want you to know that you can set up your slideshow in a variety of ways. Uh, you can also set up a custom slideshow. Say, for instance, you have this presentation, you give it all the time, but every once in a while, you want to omit uh, certain slides. You don't want to include certain slides, so you can you can save a show, a custom show. So uh, it's it's starting with the basic show, but then I'm going to go give me a new custom show, and they're going to want you to give it a name. All right. So uh, so let's say employees only. All right. So this one I do for employees only. And here you simply select the slides that you want to include. And let's say you wanted to exclude questions. So you just add those six and then you hit OK. And now that will be saved as a, so that's been saved now as a custom show that you'd be able to run. The next window I want you to see is set up slideshow right here. All right. So very many, a lot of options right here. Uh, one of which, of course, includes the ability to ask for the custom show or for all slides. All right. So that's where that comes in handy. So if you wanted to show the custom show here and you'll get your list because I only have one on the list, it only showed that. However, from here, you can also determine if you only want certain slides to be run before you actually run your show. So this is the button you go to before you run your presentation. Now, the default is presented by speaker. Now, not all presentations are given by a speaker, but when they are, you typically will you'll check that, of course. You won't have it loop continuously, but you'll, you'll probably come over here and you'll switch this from use timings, right, if present, to maybe manually. So that way, when you want the next bulleted item or the next slide to advance, you will click or hit page up or hit your space bar or any of the many ways that you can get to advance the slide. So careful when setting this up, you need to understand where this is going, where this is going to be run. So you've got uh, the type of presentation that's going to be here, very important. So if it's a speaker or um, browse by an individual in a window or at a window or here, this is very common as well, where it's browsed at a kiosk. In other words, it's in a mall or in a bank, and, uh, and it just kind of runs on its own. Now, typically, you'll notice that the default for browse at a kiosk is loop continuously, right? So this thing is just going to keep going and going and going because nobody has control over whether or not it goes. If an individual is running it, then you have the option of looping it or not looping it. So those are the different, the, the three different things. And as you go down this list, the more automated it becomes. So you've got those options. You've got the show options, whether you want narration or not, whether you want animation or not. All right. Uh, it, typically, if you've got to browse at a kiosk, you're going to want the animation, the custom animation that we're going to learn how to do, how things come in and exit a slide. You're probably going to want that to be turned on. Um, down here, we have already looked at. So now the last thing that we have to look at is this multiple monitors thing, which is really important. If you're giving a presentation uh, in a classroom or in an auditorium, that kind of a thing, uh, typically they're not going to be looking at your screen. You've got this thing hooked up to some kind of a projector and your computer is going to, going to know that it is. So here uh, you can set your monitor up so that it is the primary monitor. And then you can ask for what's called presenter view, which is really neat. Um, I'll show you what presenter looks like shortly, but this allows you to see on your screen something and your audience is going to see uh, the presentation as it's supposed to be. So I'm just going to hit OK from here. And next I'm going to go to the actual slideshow. And down here at the the bottom left you've got a bunch of options right you've got the advance to the next slide option you got the ability to write things on we're going to cover some of this stuff later in other lessons but the last button over here you, you would just click that and then ask to show presenter view and ideally all right you, this is what you would see on your monitor while your audience only sees the slide and this allows you to see uh, your notes 
Okay, so you see the slide, you see the next slide, which is kind of a neat little feature, and you see your notes, and it allows you to advance through your presentation this way. This is a relatively new feature that I really, really like, and I think anybody who uses PowerPoint on a regular basis is going to like it as well. So that is what we call presenter view, and I was able to make sure that that was going to show up because in my setup slideshow, I asked for that to show up. And then here, if I had it connected, it would it would make sure that it showed this on the primary monitor and the other monitor would see only what it is supposed to be. So those are the options available to you within this menu. Once again, you need to understand what they are, what they do, and, and how to use them.